apparently Victoria and Ottawa know best for us here in the peace country, and I couldn't be more adamantly opposed to that feeling from both levels of government there. Chetwind, Dawson Creek, Pooscoopy and Hudson's Hope have retracted their support. But that doesn't mean that we're not um, looking to see that this process continues to move forward in a proactive way. A decision prompted by the province's stonewalling. The Premier sent a letter back to the Peace River Regional District on January, dated January 16th, stating that uh, there was no room to change any of the text in the partnership agreement, which has been the fundamental basis to try and move this thing forward from the beginning. Lextrom then handing in his resignation letter asking why the government has refused to assess socioeconomic impacts. It's staggering. You couldn't run a business. You, sh Man, you certainly, hopefully, don't want to run a province or a country that way, but they seem hell-bent on doing that. It probably takes about a year to a year and a half, 18 months, to do a proper one that we would like. That means on the ground, going to... Uh, to the uh, Chamber of Commerce, going to the to our uh, district office, asking how it's uh, going. Couturier says he's worried a mill could shut down. They say, well, we, we can't uh, operate in this uh, manner. Then they might uh, decide that they might want to uh, go somewhere else, and we don't want that to happen. And is extremely upset with others signing the agreement. I'm certain the government is going to say, "Well, we got participation from the from the Tumbler Ridge, Dawson, uh, Fort St. John, and uh, and Taylor. So we're, we're we've got participation. So we're going forward with this. Only one community from the South Peace is going to be involved in decision makings for issues that are specific to the South Peace. I think it is shockingly inappropriate. Connolly says she's worried the PRD's gamble in walking away will make things worse. They've dropped the ball. They've admitted they've they failed. They did. And now they're trying to find ways to mitigate. We need to give them an opportunity to do that. Couturier refuting this, adding that a strong stance needed to be taken. With the racism stuff that went on, it, it was pretty harsh. And I, I believe that would alleviate a lot of that because then we would be included. Despite disagreeing, Lextra, Mayor Bumstead, Mayor Couturier and Connolly all say they're worried what comes next. I think the government's approach, divide and conquer, apparently might be working here. CJDC-TV will have more on this developing story next week. Christian Devino, CJDC-TV News, Dawson Creek. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.